Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Beautiful Game, which is a new Netflix original film, this sports film focusing on the Homeless World Cup, is from director Thea Sherrock, who most recently had Wicked Little Letters also come out, so busy month for Sherrock in terms of releasing films that she directed, and here we have Michael Ward playing Vinny, a young man who joins a team of homeless men to compete for England in this Homeless World Cup, and they're coached by Bill Nye, who is fantastic as ever, who's very prim, proper, under control, until he's not, and then is having a ball cheering them on in the stands when he gets thrown out of the matches. But you have this whole film which balances, like, this is a heavy topic in dealing with homelessness. This gives a good spotlight to this organization that tries to do a lot in terms of supporting homeless people across the world. And this tournament that brings in all these different countries with homeless people joining the team and being able to compete and raising that money for that good cause. And... Just the bedrock of this story, it's very heartwarming. It brings an empathy to these characters, and Ward gives a strong performance as our protagonist, who, you know, comes into some familiar conflicts with, like, one of the other players, and, like, who's getting the ball the most, and stuff like that. There's also a little bit of, a little bit of romance floating around in terms of him and one of the female American players as well. They have a nice dynamic. It's the character dynamics and the characters in general are empathetic and we connect with them. There's a lot of heart. The actors bring a lot of empathy to their performances. You have the likes of Tom Vaughn Lawler who was Ebony Maw in The Avengers, Infinity War, and Endgame. He's their goalie and you have all these other players that each have their distinct personalities, have their own challenges, and we feel for them. And we get connect with this team, and there's this nice balance that Sherrock's able to do in terms of bringing humor into the situation. This does deal with a lot of elements you expect from a sports movie. It ends how you expect it. There's those narrative beats that hit those key points that you're going to see coming a mile away. But it's the humor, it's the heart, it's the soul that's mixed into this recipe that brings a lot to the surface. And you can have this enjoyable and meaningful experience watching this film. Sure, this isn't the most unique or compelling um, s storytelling or it's not something that like's going to stand out and you're going to stick with for a while, but it's one of those good, old-fashioned, feel-good kind of sports movies that has a really good cast. It has those fun, competitive moments building that tension. We're rooting for them to win in the big match. And in the end, you know, it might not always go as planned for this team, but we are behind them and support them along the way. This film's able to capture that spirit of competition, but also the good-heartedness that humanity can have. And there's a lot of humanity in this film, and I think that's what makes this film so engaging and fun and has a little heart to go a long way and to pull you in and want to experience this film. And it's sitting there right on Netflix, so easy access. It's right there to stream as well. But those are my thoughts on The Beautiful Game. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.